The best days start when we have awards celebrating Daisy Award winners. Josh Lynch, you are our Daisy Award winner. Congratulations. Thanks very much. So there was a patient in inpatient rehab that wanted to get married. We contacted our chaplain and said, could you do the officiation? He went online to go get his, uh, to go get the, the marriage certificate and he found out he was not ordained in the state of Ohio. But luckily, this guy, Josh, is an ordained minister. Yes. And so you officiated the wedding okay. and helped get that family married. It made a yep. huge impact on the family. There were flowers, cake, balloons. Yep. It was really a high day for that yeah. family. It was a fun day. Um, you know, Chaplain Carlos came and got me. He come around down the hallway. I thought something was wrong. <laughs> and he was like, I need you meet me here at this time. And I was like, okay, I go there. I have no idea what I'm in for. Mm -hmm. um, and my mom, who's actually a nurse on IPR, she's like, uh, yeah, you got your certificate. Like, you're going to marry somebody today. And I was just like, oh, great. Okay. But at the time, you know, I hadn't met the patient when I mm -hmm. heard their story. For me, it was about, you know, what can I do to make that day best for yeah. them? Um, you kind of let the nerve go at that point. You just you go free fall, and that's what I did. I just you know pulled some of my favorite scriptures mm -hmm. that I could remember. That I was like, okay, I know that this you know is important to values for me, and if mm -hmm. I'm doing this, I wanted them to understand why what I'm about. Um, so it ended up being a really good day. It was, it was fun. Well, I know the family loved it. And yeah. I loved how you poured a little bit of yourself yeah. into them, and even though they weren't your patients, you made a profound impact. Yes, yes. Congratulations. And, and that that again that goes from from teachings of my mom that. Um, just because they're not yours doesn't mean that you don't have to show who you are to them. Yeah. And that's that's from my mind. All right. So I'm interested to know more about you, Josh. So what do you do here at Kettering Health Hamilton? So I work on five main. Um, I pretty much do whatever they ask me to do. So, um, but but what, are you, what are you? What, what do you so do? I'm a nurse. I'm okay. an LPN. There we go. Yes, yes. I've been an LPN since um, it been January 2008 when okay. I actually got to test and take my take my LPN license. Congratulations. Yes, yeah, yeah. So I am one of three LPNs on 5 main. Yeah. Um, I've been doing it. It'll be 16 years now. Okay. Um, I've done everything. I've worked for children's. I've worked home health. Uh, the only thing I hadn't done was hospital okay. and the opening. Um, was here and I took it and I can't see myself doing anything else now. That's cool. Yeah. What do you love most about your team here on 5 Main? I think it's just the uh, the open communication. Uh -huh. um, you have, you know, in this field you can get to where you meet people who are so goal focused. Yeah. Um, and they're they're task oriented, so where they want to do these things and then their day you know gets to a point. And for me, it's constantly like checking in with my teammates. Mm -hmm. Hey, you guys need anything? Um, what can I do to help you? Yeah. Um, and that just goes back to me personally. You know, I'm, I was stuck, young age, thrown into the wolves, and I don't want anybody else to feel that way. Yeah. Um, so I always try to make sure that if I'm having a bad day, most people aren't going to know um, unless I'm quiet. Yeah. And when I'm quiet, usually it's you know, leave me alone for a little bit, let me get my stuff done, and then I'm going to make sure everybody knows, like, hey, I'm back, I'm good. <laughs> well, as we were doing the award presentation, yep. your team described you as compassionate caring, an incredible teacher, yep. even keeled, yep. positive. If you don't know, he's got a great sense of humor. <laughs> I, I, very, I try to be. Um, you know, we deal with a lot of craziness, you know, in nursing and healthcare. Yeah. Um, so like the students bringing up the teaching aspect, mm -hmm. again, goes back to I was young and now I'm realizing I'm not the young guy anymore. I'm, <laughs> I'm beginning to be the elder guy. Um, so, you know, just always making sure that my teammates are, are well taken care of. My, my patients, you know, I've learned that if I don't know everything, if I let them know that I can figure it out, like let me find a resource for you. Most of the time, even the ones who are hard to deal with are, are you know, when you come at them with that approach, it's, it's worked for me. Yeah. And it could just be my personality, it could just be, you know, my approach. Mm -hmm. um, but that's what I try to do every day. And you know, they're having bad days. If I have a bad day, it's what everybody's going to. Yeah. So that's my, my job. That's the way I look at it. Yeah, being a leader is not a neutral event. When you walk in the room, something happens. Yes. But I love how you show up with positivity yeah. and you're really thinking about your team. That's really beautiful. Yeah, yeah, and I think that again, it just goes back to to how my parents raised me. Yeah. You know, um, you know my mom's one of the best people you'll ever meet. She is. And, uh, you know, having my, uh, not many people get to do what I get to do. Yeah. You know, and I get to work with, with people I love. Yeah. Um, and, this is why I like the, the emotional aspect is it's just who I am. And I, you know, I, I used to hide it. Um, and I think it was working here that I don't have to hide anything. Yeah. You know, you, you just do your job and, and your teammates, you, you, you hear, you know, I don't expect them to say those nice things about me. I don't expect patience. I just, it comes out of me naturally and I'm thankful for it. 
Well, we're, we're better because of you. I appreciate it. So Josh, what's one piece of advice that you would give to maybe a new nurse who's thinking about embarking, embarking upon their career okay. at 18 years old like you were? Yeah. What's one piece of advice that has helped you? Um, it's probably going to be patience. Yeah. Have patience. Yeah. Um, thinking that, that you're going to have all the answers and all solutions immediately. Yeah. Again, 16 years. Um, I know way more now. I might not know everything, but I know way more now. Yeah. When in the beginning, I, I struggled because it was like, if you're fresh out of school, you're on your own, and you don't know anything. You think you do, but mm -hmm. you're like, I don't know what I'm doing. If you have that patience, um, eventually you start realizing you know more than you think. Yeah. And if you have that positive attitude, nine times out of 10, that's gonna get you out rather than knowing everything you, you feel you should know. Yeah. Well, I love that patience with yourself. And yeah. then that patience then allows the things that you, yeah. you know that you've been taught yeah. or that sometimes just come to you in the moment, they really spill out. Exactly. Well, at Kettering Health Hamilton, we get to welcome new life into the world. Yep. And sometimes we hold the hands of those when life ebbs away. Yes. But it's the way that you ordained this wedding <laughs> as the officiate of the wedding. Yeah. But it's the really, Josh, the way that you treat people, your team, yeah. your patients, that makes a profound and lasting impact. So thank you for giving of yourself. Thank you for making this place a beautiful place and really making every that. encounter a sacred one. Right. Congratulations for being our Daisy Award winner. Thank you. I appreciate it.